Big Jet 337 Charlie and Big Jet 373 Charlie. Two flights with very similar call signs. A very typical day in air traffic control where you don't want to get the numbers mixed up. When issuing altitude instructions to the Big Jets, you want to be absolutely sure that it is the 373 Charlie that starts to descend and not the 337 Charlie. In aviation, numbers are not just numbers. They're the backbone of precise communication in the air. Aircraft call sign, altitude, visibility, heading, transponder code. Each digit carries weight and clarity is paramount. Even the smallest of errors can cause a huge problem or even worse, a serious incident. A heading 120 degrees is completely different than a heading 210. 15 nautical miles is a lot less than 50 miles. Bigjet 337, Charlie is not 373 Charlie, and so on. I'm not sure if you've noticed before, but every number has its own rhythm and emphasis in English. Take zero, where both syllables share the spotlight, or fower, where the first syllable takes the lead. This careful intonation ensures that every number travels between the pilot and controller as unmistakably as possible. As a general rule, all numbers are transmitted by pronouncing each digit separately. Of course, there are exceptions to this. Don't worry, we'll get there a bit later. Let's start with aircraft call signs. Remember, always number by number, each separately. Speedbird 470, United 525, Korean Air 900. Now this is not Korean Air 900. Then flight levels. Flight level 120, flight level 70, flight level 200, flight level 300, and so on. Heading 360, heading 180, heading 090, heading 045. Always include all the numbers individually. Announcing wind information. Wind 200 degrees, 25 knots. Wind 160 degrees, 18 knots, gusting 30 knots. Transponder codes squawk 2754, squawk 3500, squawk 2000. Runway direction. Runway 27, runway 09, runway 30. Altimeter setting, QNH 1015, QNH 1000, QNH 995. But when can you use numbers in hundreds or thousands as we would normally speak? That's the case when we are talking about altitudes, cloud height, visibility, and runway visual range information, RVR, which contains whole hundreds and whole thousands. Then you can pronounce each digit in the number of hundreds or thousands followed by the word hundred or thousand as appropriate. Combinations of thousands and whole hundreds shall be transmitted by pronouncing each digit in the number of thousands followed by the word thousand, followed by the number of hundreds followed by the word hundred. Sounds complicated? In reality, it's not. Check this out. This altitude is called 3,400 feet. This is 800 feet, and this is 1, 2,000 feet. These visibility readings are 1,000 meters, 600 meters, and 1,800 meters. VHF radio frequencies are in general pretty simple, but there are a couple of tricks you should be aware of. Hold on tight, we'll get there in a second. With frequencies, we'll use the same basic principle as always. All six digits of the numerical designator should be transmitted individually. For example, this is 118.025. This one is 118.050. The only exception to this is when the fifth and sixth digits are zeros. In those cases, you can transmit by only using the first four digits. These would be 118.0 and 118.1. All six digits are commonly used in various airspaces. But in order to be able to select all six digits in your radio transmitter and receiver, the device has to have a channel separation capability of 8.33 kilohertz or more. If your radio has only the capability of 25 kilohertz or more, you can only select the first five digits of the frequency. There might also be a case when all VHF voice communications channels are separated by 25 kilohertz or more and the use of six digits as above is not substantiated by the operational requirement determined by the appropriate authorities. In this case, the first five digits should be used. Well, except when both the fifth and sixth digits are zeros. Then only the first four digits should be used. I know it hits hard, but this is my reality. You'll get used to it. In these cases, the aircraft radio management panel settings with channel separation capabilities of 25 kHz and 8.33 kHz. 118.025 is 
118.075 is 118.07. Think you got your 123s by now? If so, you can upgrade yourself to another level and start going through your essential ABCs. See you there.